Hello and welcome to Banjo Tooie! This is going to be the Xbox Live Arcade version that came out in 2009. Of course, this game was originally on the Nintendo 64 back in like 2000. Uh, the reason I'm playing this game, or this version of the game, first off, it does have some improved visuals. It is in 16x9 widescreen. The resolution in general is just a little bit higher, which is nice. The main reason, though, is that I did a Let's Play of Banjo Kazooie, also on the Xbox Live Arcade, uh, sometime last year. And that game has cross-function with this game, so some of the stuff we did in that playthrough will carry over here. So go check that one out if you missed it. And if you don't feel like doing that, then I'll catch you guys up to speed, so it'll be fun. So let's just go ahead and continue playing offline, and let's get started! Let's go right to play game. And I'm gonna go over and choose this as my file, because Mumbo is awesome! Although it does not seem to have erased my file, so let me go erase that real quick. I erased it before starting this recording, but I guess it didn't save that I erased it. Yeah, just a heads up, guys. The intro to this game is long, and I mean very, very long. It's like over 10 minutes. So we're going to get right into things here, and uh, just, just bear with me. The first episode or two is going to be a little bit slow. This game has a bit of a slow start, but once we're past that, it's going to be lots of action, so definitely stick with me. But we've got opening cutscenes, and there's no actual voice acting for this, so I will be talking over it. Two years have passed since Gruntilda the Witch was defeated by Banjo and Kazooie. I always found this font a little bit strange, because all the letters are, like, overlapping with each other. After falling from her tower, she was buried underground, where she remains until this very day. Yep. She was just chilling down there. Klungo is trying desperately to save her. He's probably been there for the past two years. <laughs> yeah, good luck, Klungo. You definitely got this. You've been trying for so long, it's definitely going to change this time. Yep. I mean, I wouldn't say you can't shift the rock, it's clearly shifting quite rapidly behind you. I just want to know, has Grunty been like, how has she been fed? I don't know. Yeah, if it's all because of us, the stupid bear. They don't mention Kazooie, although she kind of had a lot to do with it as well. Banjo's taking all the blame for this. But you can see the gang's just chilling here. There's like a weird texture on the table, like one of the triangles is all weird, but... Uh, yeah, you can see they're all just chilling, playing some poker. I don't know why there's poker gambling in a kid's game, but... Oh. Now, normally during dialogue, you can press A to kind of speed things up. You can't do that here, so... We're just gonna... just gonna rock it. Oh no, Grunty the Witch is coming! Ah... Kazooie tricks them just so they can steal their money. See, Kazooie... You, you're stealing stuff! You can't steal and gamble in a kid's game, come on. Well, I'm sure there's gonna be even more violent things. Ah, let's play indeed! Alright. What's going on out here? What a spooky, rainy, stormy night. This is probably the night where something's going to happen. If it's ever rainy and stormy, it means something's probably about to go down. Ah, there's a pile of rocks right here. Those might move. Rocks? Oh, I see him wiggling! Oh yeah! Oh my gosh, listen to that music, it's so good. I absolutely love the music from this game. But yes, we got a giant drill coming through. Whatever could it be? Uh-oh. Uh, bottles? You're showing your cards to everyone. You probably don't want to... probably don't want to do that. Not that he's really got much right there. Maybe if he gets a 10, he could get a straight, but that's about it. Wait, does it, does it two count as a straight? I don't think it does. I don't really know that much about poker. I don't think he had anything there. Uh-oh, perhaps one of us should go to take a look. Let me guess, Badger, you're going to suggest someone else do that. Whenever whenever somebody says someone should go take a look, they don't mean them. They mean somebody else should go take a look. It's kind of how things go. So I'm guessing not Banjo is going to go. Yep, yeah, that's a very a very slow working drill. Has it has it been drilling that wall for the past 2 years? That is the question. Got some nasty green fumes coming out of it. Looks like this thing's gonna... Yeah, it's gonna open. Oh no! Is it aliens? Aliens with the green-powered gas. Oh, looks like they have a wheelchair-accessible ramp right there. Ah, here we go. Oh gosh. I looked up her name beforehand, but I forgot what it is. Oh, it's something... Well, Blabelda's the, her sister. So there is gonna be two sisters right here. These are both the sisters of Grunty. Uh, the first one is like... Something Winky Bunyan. I don't remember her first name. Oh well, I'm sure you guys will let me know. Uh-oh, Grunty's going to be angry! So, kind of how Grunty has her 
rhyming as she speaks thing. All of these different characters, all of the different witches have their own kind of speech patterns. I think that Winky Bunyan, or whatever her name is, I think she talks backwards, like her grammar's kind of reversed. Kind of like a Yoda speak, almost. Uh, for Blabelda, I'm not exactly sure. Kazooie, you cannot possibly be scared of the dark. Come on. I think she's just trying to get out of it because she's lazy. Yeah, Mumbo's like, I'll do it. Yep, have fun, Mumbo. There's also a fish in a bowl in the background. Why can't the fish do it? He could have swim right over there. Oh, I see. See, Kazooie's not scared of the dark. She just wanted an opportunity to steal all the money. Kazooie, you know they're going to come back and notice the giant pile has been moved to your side. You don't think they're going to uh, notice that you stole that? Uh, Klungo, the witches are here to help you. Oh my gosh, one of his eyes is yellow. Yeah, you can see she talks a little bit backwards. Oh, Mumbo's in the background. He's spying on him. Well, what is that thing that uh, Blobbelt is holding? Is it like a cat or a dog? I don't even know. Uh-oh, the Boulder Blaster. Oh, conveniently they have a Boulder Blaster spell. You can actually kind of read the text. If you pause, you can actually read that a little bit. I wonder if that was readable on the N64 version or if the updated textures uh, for this version actually make that readable. Between you and me, guys, I've actually never played the N64 version. Even though I I had the Banjo-Kazooie when it came out on the N64, uh, this one in particular, I had not played it until I started preparing for this Let's Play. But I have been playing this game quite a lot. I think I've got it figured out pretty well, so this should be a pretty good... Um, I think I've got some pretty efficient plans for 100%. And I guess I should mention that this is going to be 100%. I will be doing everything in this game, so definitely stay tuned for that if you guys are interested. Oh, man. Yeah, Grunty, kind of strangely, she's like down to skin and bones, but she's still her same wide stature. Oh, and her eyeballs fell out. That's that's disgusting. Oh, is she just going to put it back in? That's like from Hercules, those one characters that like take their eyeballs out. And Momo's still just chilling back there. I guess we're going to, they're going to try to fix up Grunty. We probably have to try to stop them. That's going to be the objectives, right? That was a really long pause on Grunty's face. Alright. You probably should not have said that out loud, Mumbo. Now everyone's just heard you. Oh my gosh. Great job, Mumbo. You better get back. If you get zapped or something, then uh, we're probably all screwed. You're gonna kick the butt, Grunty? I believe in you. Wait, no. No, you're the bad guy. No. You should not kick the butt. Uh-oh, look at the zappy. Oh my gosh. The triple zap! Holy crud! Come on, Mumbo, you can dodge all those zaps. There you go. And that texture on that table is still messed up. It's kind of strange. Hmm. Oh, dang, Bottles is calling her out. He saw that she cheated. Hey, what's up, Mumbo? You know, I just kind of realized they're playing for golden coins, but you never actually use coins at all during the Banjo games. It's all about the notes and the jiggies. So it's still forms of gold, but... You never see them in coin form, except for in this particular cutscene, I don't think. Oh my gosh, Grunty. Is she gonna do the Banjo House Blaster spell or something? Yeah, I think she's out there charging her fireball. I just see flashes in the background, but I think that's just the thunder. Or the lightning, I guess, technically. Why do we have a picture of Tootie? Where is Tootie, actually? I don't even know where Tootie is right now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here comes the spell. Bottles! Bottles, they are not tricking you. You're supposed to get out of there, dude. I'm sure Bottles is fine. They can't possibly have stealing, gambling, and death in the first 10 minutes of a kid's game, could they? Uh, Grunty, can you run a little bit faster? They went through all this trouble to save you, and you can't even run faster for them. Wow. So selfish of you, Grunty. Oh. I guess we have our first enemies. Those flying ones are called Grunty Dactyls, which I guess is a Grunty Pterodactyl. The little green guys are called Uggers. They're not quite Huggers. They're just, they're just Uggers. They're both very easy enemies. We'll deal with them in due time. And prepare to see a lot of those enemies, because they tend to be pretty prevalent, at least for the first uh, chunk of the game. And they're not even going to wait for Klungo. Wow, dude! He was there trying to save you for years, and you just leave him. That is so mean. I think we're almost finally done with this long cutscene, guys. 
Oh man, look at that lens flare, dang. Oh, it's gone. Okay. Well, you can see Mumbo and Banjo are. Banjo's house is just completely destroyed. What about Bottles? Bottles, you doing all right, man? Are you still in there? Uh, yeah, your head hurts. Um, yeah, your head might hurt, but look at my house. And can you imagine what happened to Bottles? I don't even know if he's alive in there. Hmm. I think he's dead, guys. He'd probably be out by now. Oh, wait, there he is. Hey, Bottles. Oh, glad to see you're, you're doing all right, man. No, he's he does not look like he's doing so well. It's okay. We can just get you a piece of honeycomb. That'll probably heal you up or something. No? No! Someone get him the honeycomb! Oh my gosh. He's dead. Well, there you go, guys. Within the first 15 minutes of the game, we have gambling, stealing, and death. Wow. This game is very violent. Yeah, he's definitely was not the favorite character. Actually, is Bottles any of your guys' favorite character? I've always, always been a fan of Mumbo and Kazooie, personally. And Banjo's pretty cool, too, but... I don't know, Bottles... I don't have any issue with Bottles, but he's not, like, one of my top picks for favorite characters or anything like that. Alright, I guess we're just gonna ditch him. I mean, he's dead, but... We can't just, uh, linger on the past. We gotta let him go. So, let's go try to stop Grunty. Maybe we can avenge bottles, but I think our main objective is just to collect lots of jiggies and notes, get all that money money. But, we're about to finally get dropped off and get control of our character. Oh yeah! Now, just a heads up, guys. I am going to take a couple of minutes. This first zone is kind of a tutorial area. So I'm going to take a couple of minutes to show off all the different moves because we do retain all of our different moves we got during Banjo Kazooie. So I just want to take a couple minutes to go through that so that everyone's on the same page. So anyone who has not watched Banjo Kazooie, you guys will be just fine to watch. You'll know exactly what's going on. So right here you can see Banjo's house totally desecrated. So yeah, if you don't want to see tutorial stuff, just skip ahead a couple of minutes. But I think it'd be a good, paid, uh, good idea just for a refresher. And just for anyone who's never seen this before. Right here we have a little fishy dude stuck under this boulder. He says to please get rid of it, he can hardly breathe, but we can't do anything with that right now. We'll have to come back a bit later once we get some different moves. Because while we do retain all of our moves from Banjo-Kazooie, we are going to get some new moves throughout the course of this game as well. And we can see Klungo chilling over there. That tunnel that they made is wide open, so we might have to go through that. Uh -huh, stupid barren bird coming, me wait. Alright. We'll have to go deal with him in a minute, but let's go Let's go ahead and get reacquainted with our moveset. So there's going to be these different piles of dirt, and when we interact with those, I guess I'll go ahead and show you. Uh, basically, this text is going to pop up, and we can actually talk about what different options we have. Just to save some time, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys manually. So I've already got this all written down. So this one right here tells you that left stick is to move. If we press the left stick just a little bit, we can tiptoe, which actually comes in handy later on. Uh, right stick is to control the camera. I want to grab these eggs right down here because we'll need those for the next little tutorial bit. So these eggs will come in handy. That guy down there will kind of tell us what the eggs are for. So those kind of serve as ammo. We also have these guys up here, the golden feathers. So let's grab those. Gold feathers are used for invulnerability. Yes, indeed they are. So this one right here will tell us that we press X to do a basic attack. We can do a running X for a roll attack and jump X for a jumping peck attack. So that's that. We also can hold down the right trigger or left trigger to crouch, then press right on the C stick and that'll give, or not on the C stick, on the control stick, uh, right control stick, and that'll give us a invulnerability right there. Although that does use the gold feathers. We can also crouch and then press Y to shoot an egg, or B to shoot an egg from behind, just part one out, I guess. So that's that. Let's go over here. Now this one will teach us about these boots right here, it also teaches us about some jumps. So A is for a normal jump. A and then A again will do a flutter like that. And if we crouch and then press A, we'll do a backflip. Now these boots right here are called the wade boots. And these will let us walk through some pretty dangerous stuff. Like we can walk through swamps or other kind of hazards. So those come in handy for that. These are the turbo trainers and let us walk really fast. Now actually this was not in Banjo-Kazooie, but in Banjo-Tooie, you can walk on top of water with these as well, which is pretty awesome. So the turbo trainers are really cool in this game. Now I just gotta wait a minute for these to run out. And there we go. Now these, uh, this one right here will teach us that if we crouch and press X, it'll give us this attack right here. Now this one can be used as an attack, but it can also be used to press switches. So that'll come in handy. We also have if we jump and then press a trigger, right trigger or left trigger, we'll do this, uh, this little ground pound thing right here. Oh, man, don't be smashing your face into everything, man. Okay, so let's go up to the mountain here. I'm actually gonna do a backflip that we just learned. Oop. 
Oh, there we go. Yeah, sometimes you can use the ground pound to get a little bit of extra height. So if you just barely miss a jump, go for that. Now, this one will just teach us about the red pad right here. We can use that to fly. If we press A while in the air... Oh, I don't have any red feathers! Oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. Let me go pick some of those up. All right, now I actually have some red feathers. So now when we're in the air, if I press the A button, I can use one of the red feathers to actually flap and go higher. We can also press X to do like a dive attack like this, which is good for hitting certain things, but it's also good just to travel quickly, so that's pretty cool. Now let me see if I can actually go back down towards the water. That's kind of my goal right now. It's kind of hard to see. Oh my gosh! Oh no, no! Okay, let's just, uh... There we go, let's aim back towards the water and see if we can get in there. And that'll do it. So here's our swimming controls. We can just swim around pretty standard, but if we press X, we can dive down. Uh, once we're underwater, we can use A to swim slowly and we can use X to swim a little bit quicker. So that's the water controls. And we're almost done, guys. I know this tutorial is probably a little bit overbearing, but we're just about finished. Uh, the last thing we have to do is go over to this side because this guy will teach us that well, first off, you can see the move I'm kind of using right now. This is called the Talon Trot, which is what this one would teach us. All you do is you crouch, and then press the opposite trigger button, and we can get on Kazooie's legs and walk around quite a lot. Uh, we can also grab onto stuff. So like, right here is a ladder. We can actually flip up to that, and we can grab on and climb. So that just happens automatically. And the last thing, this is it, guys, I swear. Um, if we go right up here, we can hit this little shock pad, and if you stand on top of one of these and press A, you'll get like a super bounce. And here is our first collectible of the game. You can see a little shot inside Gruntilda's lair. This is where the first game took place. But as he's telling us right here, we found one of his missing pages. If we collect five of them, we'll return to this lair and we'll get something fancy. So we'll have to keep that in mind. We've only got one for now. It's going to take us a while to get five of them. But you know what? Let's finally head inside that tunnel and let's go fight Klungo. Bring out Krunt. Bring it on. So inside here we have... The Digger's Tunnel, or inside the Digger Tunnel. And this is where we're going to, as you can probably assume, we're going to fight Klungo. Bring it on, you butthead! This game loves its really slow cinematic shots. You'll see a lot of those as we progress through the game. You'll get used to it. Hey, buddy, Klungo, minion with a mission! Her, her, her. He's like Santa Claus, but more green. Hmm. You is stupid, yes. I is very stupid, thank you. Okay, my game ends, here's what he's saying. Now, once we start this fight, he's gonna pull out a potion. In my case, he chose red. Um, this is gonna make him giant. He can choose from three different potions. One of them is the red one right there, which you just saw. And if he gets that one, he just run up and hit him. Pretty easy. Now, he can also go with a, uh, a blue potion, which will make him make clones of himself. And when he does that one, all you have to do is wait for him to spawn all of the clones and then hit the last one that spawns. But finally, he can also do a green potion, which makes him invisible. So that's what it does. But we got the easiest one. The red one is very easy. You just wait for him to get maximum size. Then you just hit him. You can roll. You can do basically any attack. And just dodge this. Wait for him to go big again. And there we go. Very, very easy. Goodbye, Klungo. Oh, I guess he gives us some honeycombs, which will be useful for healing ourselves. Uh, you okay, buddy? Yeah, he's fine. He can take a few hits. Nasty Baron Bird hurts poor Klungo. Well, yeah, he. I mean, it was him initiating the fight, not us. Uh, yeah, I guess, I guess we have not seen the last of him. Now, this right here, this is hilarious to me. Klungo is actually requesting that Grunty beats him with a broom because he's a failure. That is how dedicated he is to Grunty. Kind of ridiculous. All right, so there's a few different collectibles we can get in here. We can get some honeycomb, some eggs. But you know what, guys? We're going to head off to this tunnel, and I guess we'll find out what is on the other side next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this is just like an intro with some tutorial stuff. Uh, like I said, the first couple episodes are going to be a little bit slow, but once we get to around episode three, things will definitely pick up. So, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.